God is very powerful, and our brains have been designed to worship Him. And yes, I'm a Christian, so I can say that, and we all know that, but the science is confirming that because God uses science to confirm His Word. One of the things that I've spent many years researching is how the mind is separate from the brain and how the mind changes the brain. So the mind, is not, the mind and the brain are not the same thing. They're separate, and the mind changes the brain. And the fact that when you think and renew your mind, you are actually changing your physical structures in your brain. You are redesigning the landscape of your brain, and you're changing your body is very powerful, which means that we're not victims of our biology, we are victors over and above our biology, which is incredible. So biology is just one part of who you are, and I know you've been, and Pastor Max has been telling me, he's been teaching you about science in the Bible, and I'm so thrilled because science is a wonderful analogy for seeing the glory of God. We really celebrate God's uniqueness, we admire God through science. Okay, so I bring in science, I bring in brain science, and the first, uh, next slide that you're going to see is of, it's called a Golgi stain, and these are actual networks inside the brain that look like trees, and these, just bear with us now, that, there we go. Okay, so these are networks inside the brain that look like trees. This is an actual slide, a very, very old slide of, from years ago, showing the, the tree-like structure of our thoughts. So the scripture, bring all thoughts into captivity to Christ Jesus. Well, when you do that, you're bringing those things into captivity. That's what the thoughts look like in your head. They have a tree-like structure, which is why I use trees on the stage. So for those of you that are attending the session for the first time, on this side of the stage, you see green trees. This is the love zone. I always teach like this, because when we talk about the mind, we're talking about thinking, we're talking about feeling, and we're talking about choosing. Choosing between life and death. So this is the life zone. This is the love zone. This is where we are naturally designed to be. We are designed to be in a state of worship. And worship is talking to God all day long. It's raising our hands in church. It's reading the word. It takes on many different forms. But when we, we are designed for this, we are designed to be addicted to God. The big tree is God. The little green tree is us made in God's image. So I just use these as analogies to show you the truths that we are wired for love. So God is love. we made in love. And science confirms, God uses science to confirm his truths or to give us validation or to give us analogies or to give us visual things to hang on to. But science actually shows that we are wired for love, that we have no organs or structures that can handle anything toxic. 